class. Because he's a, he's a bag of surprise. Let's get him up here. Ian Moffat. Well, hello, Melbourne. I'm straight out of Aubrey, and she's quite a woman. I'm a member of Seven Family. Me, my three brothers, my sister, Joanne, and mum and dad. My older brother, Rick, like father, like son, both like their cars, only my dad's a little retro where my brother liked it fast and loud. My second older brother, Jeffrey, he's got itchy feet. He's here one week, gone the next. A bit of pineal crane might fix that. <laughs> My sister, Joanne, who I had mentioned earlier, put it this way, there's more chiefs than there are villagers when she's at home. <laughs> Though she had this broad idea, more like a dumbass idea. She... Suggest to Dad to move in with her because there wasn't enough of communication in the family. Really? Uh, wouldn't that make the situation even worse? Eh? More or less break the marriage up, genius. Well, there is my second younger brother, Timothy. He's dead to me. At least that's what the undertaker tells me. There's worst thing about a smart ass is one that's always right. Don't get me wrong, people are toddled to their opinions, but there's a difference between having an opinion and being a know-it-all. And know-it-alls and Christians have one thing in common. They both like to force their beliefs and opinions onto you. My friend Aaron's a good example of that. He's both Christian and a know-it-all, and he does both. Though he didn't like it when I said to him in a text that Brad Williams doesn't like the name Aaron, they're fucking annoying. Well, you've been a lovely audience. I've been your comedian. Thank you and good night. And back to Christine Bazaar!